long time and that he can move which is you know a big man a lot of times doesn't but he can move and he's a good shooter next we asked bill ashmore of walnut grove and tom masterson if they expected a sagging zone defense from moorhead uh, yes we do all season long we've hit primarily a sagging type defense uh, with three men around tom and uh, this has helped develop our outside ball game well we feel they're real good we'll have to play ball of course and hustle but i think we can beat them Tom, uh, another thing, uh, being a big man, you've seen all the different defenses they've uh, uh, put on you. Uh, I think you realize more than anybody, this is a team game and you can't do it alone. And uh, I I'm really amazed and, and uh, surprised at the good job your guards have done hitting from the outside when they do sag off on you. Am I right? Uh, that's absolutely right. Uh, if they're, they're crowded around in the middle, our guards will oh uh, shoot the eyes out of the basket and they've got to come out and that's uh, that's the only way we we can run our offense is if, the guard, if we're hitting from outside and what a comeback it was for moorhead in that game once trailing by 17 points they came back behind pad driscoll to win 72 to 16 over tom masterson and company masterson got in foul trouble and moorhead took advantage and dumped walnut grove now the scene was cut for the semifinal game on Friday night. Bemidji met Edina, and Duluth Central played Moorhead. Before the first semifinal game between Bemidji and Edina, we asked Coach Bun Forchi about the Edina game and his players John Boyer, John Swanson, and Jim Sutton. The old uh, court out there is for two ball teams, and uh, the uh, size of the bucket is the same. We're just going to go out there and try to play some basketball. Let's see how the three Bemidji boys feel about this game. First of all, uh, John, how do you feel? I feel that we're going to have to fight real hard to stay in the game, and that's what we're all on here for, to play some basketball and do a lot of running. How about you, John? How about the Dinah size? you think that's going to be an advantage for them? Well, we beat a team yesterday that was pretty big, and I think if we really work today, it can be done. And how about you, Jim Sutton? They're big, but they're high school kids, too, and they can be beat. Next, we call on Edina star Jay Kudrowski and coach Dwayne Baglin. We asked Kudrowski... If he felt the pressure was on Edina with its long winning streak. Oh, none at all. We're in the tournament and everyone's undefeated in this tournament, so there's no pressure on us any more than anyone else. So after all this publicity, the big heavy favorite, uh, what problem have you got uh, telling your ball players about the next game about the Bemidji tonight? Well, we just, uh, it's the old story, we've just been taking uh, these games one at a time, and uh, I don't think it's much of a problem. These kids want to win uh, real bad, and... Uh, I think uh, they've got the right mental attitude, and it's just a matter of uh, going out there and uh, everybody playing up to their ability and uh, trying to make them play our game. The game started and saw Bemidji stay right with Edina for most of the game. Listen now to Ray Christensen describing the play-by-play -play in the final minutes of the first half. 136 left in the half. It's 27 to 25. Edina leads by two. Kylie ready to come in now for Edina. Pass stolen by Kedrowski. He gets a clean break. He drives in and he missed the shot to the side court. And it is almost saved. It did was saved, but picked up by Bemidji. Pass ahead to Schwartz. Jump shot. Good. It's tied. Schwartz on a 15 footer. It's 27 all. And a timeout on the court with 1.15 left to play in the half. Edina did pull away in the second half and gained a berth in the finals with a 64-51 win. Kurt Schellhaus totaled 17 for the winners. Now we were set for the Duluth Central game with Moorhead. We called on Duluth coach Jim Hastings and Mel Anderson and asked them how they were going to cope with Moorhead's press. We feel that we've, uh, we've been pressed. We've certainly worked against the press uh, every night in practice, so we, just, we have the confidence in our kids that they'll, they'll be able to handle it. Mel, have you seen the press a lot during the season? Well, Duluth East had a press similar to the press that Moorhead uses now. So, and, and every night, like Mr. Hastings says, we do practice against the press, so we, I feel we're ready to go against it. Then we chatted with Doug Hofstad of Moorhead and his coach, Shockey Strand. We asked them how they felt about the Duluth game. Well, we're kind of excited about it. We always wanted to get down to the state tournament. Now in the semifinals, Duluth is awful good last night. They got a good team. That game last night must have been one of your biggest thrills of your coach. Certainly is, John, and I just hope they can, the boys can give me another one tonight. After the game was over, many said it was one of the finest so far. Moorhead came from behind again to upset Duluth 69 to 73. Again, it was a fine play of Pat Driscoll that led Moorhead's charge. Now we were ready for the championship game between Edina and Moorhead. Before we hear about the big one, I know Maynard's piece wants to have a few words. 